The Sarah's Grand Slam requires a bit of assembly. Before installing, please consult the rack owner's manual for complete instructions. This video is not meant to replace the formal instructions. For this assembly, you will need the following tools. A 9 16 inch wrench, a 3 quarter inch wrench, and a 5 mm hex key. Remove all the contents from the rack's package. We will start with the largest vertical tube in the tilt bracket. Slide the vertical tube down into the tilt bracket from the top and line up holes. Insert the longer carriage bolts through the side with the square holes. Secure with nuts and tighten. Next, insert the smaller vertical tube into the top of the larger tube with the tube spacers. Line up the holes of both tubes and spacers. Install black carriage bolts through the square holes and secure with nuts. Tighten. Insert hitch receiver into tilt bracket. Line up outer hole and insert carriage bolt through the square hole. Secure with washer and nut on the other side and tighten. Insert pin with a clasp into the inner receiver hole and close clasp. Next, insert the large square nut and small nut from the individual parts bag into the plastic hitch tight bracket. Then, insert the bracket into the receiver tube of the rack with the nuts facing the driver's side of the car if the rack were to be inserted into the hitch. Measure your hitch. If your vehicle has a 1.25 inch receiver, you can insert the rack into the receiver. If your vehicle has a two inch receiver, you will need to install the two inch adapter. To install the two inch adapter, take the aluminum adapter and slide it over the rack's hitch tube. Line up holes on the adapter and the hitch side of the tube and secure the yellow five millimeter hex screw. Now, insert the rack's receiver tube into your vehicle's hitch. Line up the hole on the rack's receiver tube with the hole of your vehicle's hitch. Next, install the split washer on the hitch pin. Then insert the hitch pin into the hitch pin hole from the driver's side. Tighten with a 3 quarter inch wrench or socket. Next, we will install the rack arms. Place the rack arm tube bracket on the vertical tube. Insert carriage bolt through square hole and secure with washer and nut. Tighten. Insert clevis pin in lower hole, secure with clasp. Now let's install some bikes. The first bike will go on the rack with the bike's drivetrain facing the car. Hang the top tube of the bike over the rack arms and into the cradles. Close the two straps on the top tube and tighten. The next bike will install in the opposite direction. Hang the bike's top tube over the arms and in the cradles, then tighten the straps. Now secure the bikes with the included strap through the bike frames to prevent bikes from swaying. Note, if bike is at an extreme angle and tires are less than 12 inches from the ground, the Cirrus bike beam may be required for your frame to properly fit the Grand Slam rack. Now you're ready to hit the road with your brand new Cirrus Grand Slam. Music